around or good afternoon or good night or whatever time of day it is where you live right now comment below let me know what time it is where you live I am about to do another color series and today is indigo and I am struggling a little bit I will pop blue below I actually ended up loving blue that was the one I was the most scared to do and it is probably like my favorite I just loved the look I came up with I feel like that look was quite a structured kind of cut eye really monochromatic look so I think today I might do some kind of like smoky sexy smoky eye or smoky eyeliner and just kind of pay what what do, you, what do you say like pay respects to the past myself back when I first started doing YouTube videos when I could go clubbing when I was 18 years old I for some reason just thought that navy blue smoky eyes were the shit and I wore them every single time I went out clubbing with my friends you guys have seen my OG get ready with me videos where I did like a blue smoky eye so I'm not gonna do that look today although I thought it could be fun to recreate those videos at some stage let me know if you'd like to see that um and yeah I'm going to use some kind of like navy blue because like indigo is kind of like a navy blue my previous blue look had a little bit of navy but mostly like brighter blues it was quite a vivid look so if you search the word indigo tries to friggin see me on a fly somewhere you get kind of like this purpley bluey navy situation so I don't really know what colors exactly I have that are like this but I'm gonna give it my best shot yeah it seems to just be like that blend of dark blue and dark purple I don't know let's just see where this journey takes us I am obsessed with this color series so far and I am gonna do a few extra I know I is almost at the very end we've only got violet after this so after violet I'll probably do two to three extra videos um, I'll do like a pink one and then a couple of other colors that I haven't really utilized like maybe a teal look or like you know what I mean you guys can request which ones you want down below anyway if there's anything missing that you would really like to see I put my Lauren Curtis of robe on here I finally got around to making a purchase I also got some of the pajamas and they're so freaking comfy so I'll definitely be ordering more go check out her brand it's so good I'm gonna start with my eyebrows as always am I yes no I am I'll do my eyebrows and then move on to the eye makeup I kind of feel like doing some kind of dramatic eyeliner look. It's going to be interesting to see how this makeup comes out because I do have dinner out for one of my friend's birthdays tonight. He just turned the big 3-0. Old fart. I'm still 20... How old am I? 26. I'm turning 27 soon. How old are you guys? Like, am I ancient compared to you guys? Actually, if you check my analytics on YouTube, most of my audience is between like 20, 25, and 40. So I feel like we're okay here. <laughs> loving this concealer for doing my brows at the moment like you guys know you've probably seen me using this in like a couple of youtube videos lately also this is red mark because i picked a pimple out of my skin today <laughs> and then next up i'm going to take my tapered eye brush and use this just to carve out my brows i actually had to use this brush the other day i was getting ready at a friend's house and i forgot my jewel paddle brush so I tried this instead because it was in my makeup bag and it worked just as good. Definitely applied too much product though. Whoops, I was not concentrating. So I have to go and fill in those areas. I just got my hair redone yesterday too. So that's why it all blends better because I no longer have a giant chunk at the top. It's like kind of more, I don't know, the blondes I bought up all the way to the top. It's hard to turn this lighting. Can you see what I mean? So the top is still much darker and it's mixed with my natural hair color. And then the foils get more intense at the bottom, so it's much brighter blonde down the bottom, so very similar to what I had last time. Alright, one of my eyebrows looks much better than the other, because like I said, I used way too much product and piled it on there. Anyway, now I'm just going to prime my eyelid. Oh my gosh, I'm so nervous, I don't really know what kind of look I'm doing. But that's just how I roll, I don't have much of an imagination, like I kind of just have to play by like applying. And sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't, but I feel like... The further in I go, like I see problems that I can fix, and that's like my makeup kind of process. I just keep fiddling with it, I add more, I figure out what I'm going to do next, and then by the end of it, it usually comes together, especially with lashes and liner. I don't know if you guys follow my vlog channel, but we were talking about that, about how some people like can't actually have a proper imagination, and I'm one of those people. Like if you shut your eyes and someone was like, imagine a cloud, and imagine Coming out of that cloud was a unicorn, and the unicorn was covered in shapes of all different colors and sizes. There were blue ones, red ones, pink ones, 
um, can you see that image in your mind? And I'm like, no, I see black. <laughs> or I can see like one color. Like, okay, I can imagine the sky. I can imagine the sky with some clouds. But as soon as you like tell me to put a unicorn in the sky with the clouds, I'm like, eh. Or I do it and it just kind of turns into a big brown shape. Like it doesn't have any detail. I am mean, I don't know. Just random little chat for you guys. There is a name for it. I can't remember what it is, but it's a thing. But it makes sense as to why I'm always like, I don't know what I'm doing with my makeup. I can have an idea of like colors and techniques, but I can never imagine how it's actually going to look by the end. It's always a surprise. And then before I do anything else on my face, I'm going to use the Age It Bright Spot Fader by Dermalogica. I think it's working. What do you guys think? If you compare to a couple of my recent videos, I just feel like these are all just marks. There's no pimples. I think there's one popping up in here somewhere. Those are all flat. They're just scars. So I'm just going to put some on top. That's a scar. There's definitely one under the skin somewhere here. I can feel a little bit of pressure. But I feel like it's really helping to like maintain clearer skin. There's a big pimple up here too. Big old unicorn pimple. Or rhinoceros if you are that so inclined. Alright, I'll zoom you in for this part. Oh, that's the wrong way. So I'm going to take my Shiseido Ink Stroke Eyeliner and a winged liner brush. This is in the shade Conai Blue and it's a dark indigo, I think. Is this what indigo is? So I'm going to start by doing a kind of dramatic wing. This is why I'm doing this first, so that if I F it up, I can just like wipe it off. <laughs> that looks so crooked, but it's literally just the shape of my eye bone. <laughs> oh my god, this for some reason is just smudging everywhere. Like I can't get a nice sharp line with it. Okay, I can on that side. I'm not worried about it being too perfect because we're going to layer eyeshadow on top, but I mean, this side's horrendous. So we're going to stop there. I'm going to keep this product out because we'll probably touch it up later. I just want to kind of see how this is going to go. I might have to go in with a couple of different kind of colors, but first I'm going to go in to the Safari palette by Natasha Denona. I feel like this is quite a nice kind of indigo-ish color, this Fata Morga Bo Morgana? Fata Morgana? I don't know if that's how you pronounce it. This one right here, and this is what it looks like. And before we do that, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of Aya first which is the skin tone kind of shade and just put that in the, the crease and then a tiny bit of tamarind which is this darker kind of mustard color keeping both of those crease colors a little bit warm just to really pop the bluey indigo-y purpley colors we're going to be using just something like that I've kind of like really emphasized the curve of my crease making it a little bit defined and then with a short shadow brush I'm going to take that navyish indigo color and first just tap that over top of where I put eyeliner this is why I wasn't too worried with the eyeliner not looking perfect because we were just going to do this anyway and I don't care if it gets out of control because I'll just tidy it up again I think what I'm going to do is take the shade voodoo which is this very dark kind of plum purpley color I think when we mix this it should kind of create that indigo. I don't know. Indigo is such a random color to be on the rainbow spectrum. You've got red, orange, green, yellow, all the normal colors, and then all of a sudden they're like indigo. It's like, what? Like if you actually look at a real rainbow, okay, you're getting a dark blue for that indigo. That's the way I'm picturing it. And then it kind of goes into the violet underneath. So yeah, I think my blue look was pretty spot on, a little bit brighter, because the blue in a rainbow is quite bright, you know? It stands out, it's kind of in the middle. So I'm just fading that in. Like, is that indigo? I feel like it is. Just kind of tapping it over, really blending it in and massaging it into the other colors. The hardest part is trying to make them blend the same amount on both sides. This is where you get your thick eyeliner because it just starts getting out of control. Okay, so that's all blended and now what I'm going to do is just take a little bit of glitter on... Oh, wrong brush. Same brush, my winged liner brush. And the glitter I'm using today is called Seeing Stars Size 3 by Lit. There's a discount code down below for you. It's kind of like blue based, hint of green and a hint of purple. So I'm hoping this will come off well on top of this colour. And I'm going to use that just mostly close to the lash line and especially that outer... I mean inner corner, just over top. So it'll kind of go from being like a sharp glitter, um, softening out into the soft, smoked kind of eyeliner. I really like the way that looks. That glitter is so nice. Oh my god, oops, there goes the lid. This side's definitely a bit thicker. I might just thicken up the other side ever so slightly with the glitter. Just like that. 
I can kind of see it coming together. Now let's tidy up the outer corners and do some foundation and stuff and then we can kind of see where we're at because I do think I'm gonna do some more, you know, indigo. Oh shit, my glitter's transferring onto my top part. It's all right. We'll deal with that shortly. For now, I'm going to use my foundation. I'm going to go in with my CoverGirl because I haven't used this in a while. This is the shade L80 True Ivory True Matte um, Matte Made Foundation. I didn't prime. Hold on one second. First, I'm going to prime with one of my current favorite products I've been using a lot. The Gold Light Strobe Cream by MAC. It's got the gold shimmers in it, which is just so beautiful. And because... I haven't used like a decent moisturizer today. This is like a moisturizer product. And it just preps my skin and makes it buttery smooth for the makeup to go on top of. How nice this eyebrow looks compared to this one. Because I got concealed all through the top of it. It's a little bit better. I've just like used my fingernails for a makeup wipe. Those glitters feel pretty dry. Whoops, I just broke this brush. <laughs> what is this? Oh, my Tweezerman little brush broke. But anyway, I'm just taking a random spoolie. Make sure it's kind of clean and then what I'm where is all this flap coming from I'm going to use it to kind of chip off the glitter sometimes it works really well and sometimes it doesn't there go the dots <laughs> and then just touching up with the same brush I used before just to make sure there's no like patches if I've accidentally chipped away some eyeshadow or anything and it is all fixed all right moving on to foundation like I said we're using the true blend matte made today I'm gonna take two full pumps. People always say, why do you squirt it straight on your face? Like, I don't know, it's just convenient. I don't wanna put it in my fingers and get it all over my fingernails. I'll take my finger afterwards though and just like use the flat part so it doesn't get all under my nails or all around my finger. I feel like if I pump it into my fingers half the time it goes like leaking like in between my fingernails and like in between my fingers. So I'm not trying to be dramatic by pump pumping it straight on my face. It's just how I actually genuinely do it. Do you guys do it a different way? Like, what do you guys do? <laughs> and then on my face, I'm going to use some light medium sand tart concealer just on the bottoms for some extra coverage over my redness. Like, the foundation covered most of it, but I feel like this foundation is not matte like it says it is, which I'm happy about. And then I'm going to use the shade Light Under My Eyes. Just doing, like, three dots, maybe four, and blend this out. Sorry if my earrings are annoying, I know they keep like facing the wrong direction and everything. I can't help it. Every time I wear earrings in videos, I swear like they always sit weird and then it annoys everyone in the comments. <laughs> Holy crap, that wind is so loud. Um, we're going through like this weird storm in New Zealand at the moment. Like heaps of weather warnings and stuff. Like we don't usually get like terrible weather in Palmy, as in like worse than what we already get. We usually just have shitty weather most of the year, <laughs> but like at the moment it's apparently meant to be like high gust winds and like hail storms and stuff like that so we'll see so you can see today we are going full coverage on the face oh i've still to use that freak stuff i will do that i just remembered i don't know why i remembered it just now i think i was talking i mean thinking to myself about how well this has just covered my pimples not pimples freckles wow listen to me on fire today. My face is like slightly too dark for my chest right now so I might have to put some fake tan on later now but oh well. Then on these inner corners I'm taking my petal brush just to blend the concealer upwards. Done and dusted. So I'm going to do some, I might just set my face first actually. So I'm going to set under my eyes using my shade to brighten Oof, by KKW on a small face brush. And then on the rest of my face I'm going to take my Born This Way Cream Puff a little bit lighter um but i'm doing a thin layer and i'm hoping it'll just lighten my complexion slightly well this is a full of coverage foundation if i've ever seen one next up i'm going to do mascara and lashes and i'm testing some more exo beauty lashes today so they are unavailable but i'm pretty sure they're definitely a final style so yeah they should be for sale soon but as of right now they are nothing on the website. They're not there. I'm going to go in with my Wow Wings Mascara by Rimmel. Rimmel do really good mascaras for like volume. I'm going to leave my bottom lashes because I might do blue lashes on the bottom. Because I have a new favorite blue mascara which is very random I know. But I've been playing, oops, got that everywhere. I've been playing around with blue um, mascara since I got my eyebrows tinted. The girl that does my eyebrows, her name's B. She had the um, Bad Girl Bang blue 
mascara on top and bottom and it looked amazing and I did it too. I'm going to show you a little photo because I was so inspired by her look. Where is it? And it's such a pretty blue. It's kind of bright but I feel like it will still look nice with this look. I love it. And I like it because in different lighting like sometimes the mascara looks just kind of like black and then sometimes it looks more blue like if it's in the sun. So before I put on my lashes I'll quickly pop this on the bottom lashes I think. Wish me luck. Hopefully I don't ruin it, the look. I do find that you need to do two layers. But if you just want like length and colour, one's okay. But I like to add another layer for extra thickness. Just to make the blue pop more. My lower lashes are so freaking long. I don't know why. Alrighty. There's the eye makeup finished with lashes. Oh, it's a bit bright. Hold on one second. Um, with the eyelashes on and everything. I stuttered just then. Well, bottom lashes are on, so that's a little bit more of a brighter blue. I feel like the top's more indigo. I feel like this is a more navy bright blue. I don't know, but whatever. I like the way it looks, and I didn't do any kind of smudging of eyeshadow or anything under there. I just left it as is. Now I'm going to take the blonde shade of the dip brow, um, eyebrow stuff. I'm going to use a small amount of this just through my eyebrows. That make a difference in the color of my eyebrows it just made them a little bit lighter which is different for me because usually i go darker but hey i just got my hair done and i wanted to see what this looked like with my new hair color not like it's a very new hair color but you guys get what i mean just like fresh hair color fresh blonde and we kept it and more like honey blonde rather than toning the fuck out of it into a like whitish grayish pinkish lilacish toned color like we left it quite warm because I'm really liking that at the moment it's a little bit more natural it's got way less maintenance as well oh my goodness I just got this friggin stuff everywhere okay and next up we're still gonna do some like highlighting on the eyes but I'm going to contour and everything first so first of all I'm gonna take my I think I'll just take this the Hamptons Weekender by Tarte because I love this contour shade and just do some contouring why do I look bright orange? I mean bright yellow on camera. I don't actually look that color in real life. Is it picking up on the blue or something? That's weird. In real life I'm a very normal shade. So I don't know what's happening. For my bronzer today I'm going for a glowy one. Because I think it will set off with the blue really nicely. So this one is the Sunlit Skin Bronzer by Mecca Max. It's so nice. I'm going to use my Jumbo Face Brush. And just apply this over my cheeks. Just to warm up the complexion and create a little bit more glow. I'm going to put it all around my hairline, my temples. This blends out so lovely. Like it's just effortless. A little bit on my nose and down my chin. I'm even going to put some on my chest just to deepen my chest a little bit. Because I definitely went a bit too dark with the concealer I reckon. This freaking shadow on my nose. Like my nose is so crooked. It looks like I've contoured it badly but it's just like a shadow. Love that for me. Okay, anyways. Next up, I'm just going to actually use the highlighter in this little duo as well. Or trio. Apparently I can't count anymore either. Just applying that to my cheekbone. I really like this highlighter. It's a beautiful gold... I can't talk. Beautiful gold shade. And it's nice. It kind of like blends into my skin nicely. and doesn't just look like stark and crazy. I'm going to put some on the tip of my nose. And just up here. A little bit above my eyebrows. A little bit on my chin. This is like a full glam look right now. Wow. Like full. Full coverage. Full contouring. Full concealer and highlighter and everything. And then I'm going to take a smaller brush. And apply this to my brow bone. And my inner corner. That inner corner though. I feel like I've really been neglecting my inner corners lately. I don't know what it is. So for my mouth. <laughs> what? For my lips. I feel like doing either something peachy or going full navy. So I think I'll try something navy first because I'll probably take it off. This lip color here is called Clapback by Fenty. Love this color. What do you guys think? I'm going to put this on because I love it. Do my thumbnail pictures and everything and then I'm going to show you guys what it looks like with just like a wearable lip because this eye makeup is so wearable for like a party or something I reckon. Like New Year's or just a night out even like it's a really fun way to wear a little bit of color without it looking too over overbearing why can i not talk i don't know okay so because i didn't use a lip pencil and it's such a bold color i'm going to go around the edges with a bit of concealer i'm just going to use my detail buffer nipple brush to do this can you see it's got a little like nipple on the top these come in a set or separately now i believe so i'm using the detail one god this makeup look is amazing i love it and then just using the little nipple to tidy up around the edges just like 
this. I feel like we need a little bit of a like super peachy blush just because blue and peach kind of complement each other so well. I'm gonna use this one by Kylie. This is called We're Going Shopping. And as you can see, it's super peach. So I'm gonna take my massive powder brush again and then just add some of this. Oh, that's so pretty. So there we have the blue look. What do you guys think? Um, I'll come back in a moment and show you guys the peach and you guys can vote below and let me know which you think looks better. This look here, I feel fierce. Like I feel like I need to chuck on like a leather jacket, leather pants, Doc Martens and just be like, what's that? <laughs> um, yeah, be right back. Okay, I'm back. So even just this looks really nice. I've just put on Mari Lip Pencil by XO Beauty and overdrawn my lips a little bit. And that color looks like perfect. Like if you're looking for a lip color to wear with blue, whether it be a blue outfit, I just popped this on just to be extra indigo. I feel like it's more navy than indigo, but I mean, I don't have anything with a hint of purple either, if that's the definition. And then I'm gonna go over top with a little, do I do maraki? No, I'm gonna go in with a little bit of Lao Tong, which is a liquid lipstick, because I barely use this one. It looks insane, right? You can apply it opaque, look at this, like that or you use it like this, which is how I use these like every day. You'll never run out of this stuff. Just a few little dots, just blend it in. And it actually lasts really well this way as well. And just keep going, I'm just gonna take it off my hand until you're happy with the color. And it's actually really wearable, just like that. Like, I love that. If you wanna see how Lao Tong looks next to Meiraki, this is Meiraki, it's a little bit more pink, whereas the top one's a little bit more orange. So you, yeah, you can just apply it like a liquid lipstick and get an opaque payoff, or you can wear it just dabbed on, on top of your bare lips or on top of your favorite lip pencil, and then get a really nice natural kind of look, which I love. Wow, that wind back there is not joking. Okay, I am in love with this look. I don't know if I like it more or less than the blue, once again, I will link the blue look down below as well as every other color from the series if you want to do a little bin binge watch. I can't talk today. My brain is just not functioning. It's Friday. It's like my brain's just taking an early weekend. I don't know what's happening. But yeah, I'm obsessed with this makeup. This is obviously much more wearable, whereas the blue is much more cool and bold and edgy. So yeah, comment below and let me know which combo you actually preferred. Do you prefer something really out there or do you prefer wearable? I'm just in love with that little hint of glitter on the inner part of the eyeliner as well. It just looks so effective. And then the very smoky edges to the eyeliner on the outer corner. I just think it's so cool. Here's a little close up of the eye makeup. If you want to see how it all looks and see a bit of the color. So yeah, that's my indigo look. This one was definitely a little bit more challenging for me just cause I'm like, I don't know what indigo even is, but hopefully I did it justice. Um, and I feel like I wanted to keep it super different from just the blue. Do you know what I mean? Where there was more sky blues and stuff like that and it was a cut crease. I wanted to do a different technique. And I did a halo eye recently, but I'm really keen to do another halo eye soon with maybe the next color. I don't know. We'll see what we vibe. The next up is violet. I'm very excited. And then like I said, we'll do another couple colors. Comment down below if there's some more colors you want me to redo in a different way with different tones. Like if you want me to redo orange and do like a peach look instead or I don't know. Thank you guys so much for watching and if you did enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up. You guys know it helps me out to death and don't forget to subscribe and notify if you do want to be notified when I upload my new videos which at the moment is still two videos a week and I do upload over on my vlog channel pretty regularly as well if you do want to see more of my content. I don't know how many of you guys actually need to see more of my face than necessary but hey just in case bye